Okay. Okay, Doctor Who fanfic. Uh, I'm sorry, River. This is just too funny. It's called Coherence. It's spelled with a K. Awesome. Sure you're alright? Rose eyed the doctor with open concern. As opposed to the other kind. <laughs> he swept his soaked fringe back off his face and squeezed his suit jacket until icy water splashed all over the TARDIS floor, eliciting a few choice beeps from the annoyed console, who didn't particularly like her circuits being doused with freezing water. Thank you very much. Ooh, stream of consciousness. Yep. Right as... Rain. Rose rolled her eyes as he appreciated his own pun. She didn't... She didn't think it was very funny. He said he'd only be gone a few minutes, and that was several hours ago, and she could still hear the major down for the doctor had been caught in the hammering... Been caught in hammering against the TARDIS doors like thunder. That's a fucking run-on sentence, isn't it? I don't even know. It's weird. It's like a line and a half. Sounds more like a flood, Rose said as she reached over... She reached over, reached over a plucked a droplet of frozen rain, hail, from because, his wet hair. Because frozen rain is not usually hail. And Rose's face fell. Doesn't it always? <laughs> it's permanently fallen. <laughs> Can I have biscuits too? Rose smirked. Sure. Why is she smirking? And toast? Shower! Rose pointed again and he hurried off. What's gonna happen next? Rose carried the tray carefully to the doctor's room and knocked like, oh my god. Time pass? It just goes, shower, he walks off, and now Rose is carrying a tray to the doctor's room. <laughs> doctor, are you decent? There was no reply from within, so... She's, okay, if he's not decent, I'm going to actually scream and run away. Rose Can we not read this? <laughs> I have to know what happens! <laughs> he lifted his head as if it were the heaviest thing in the room. Like well, his right... Re- no, it's not. <laughs> like, as opposed to what else? Not, not gonna not My sister wouldn't send me sex. <laughs> Not graphic sex. <laughs> you should send person. Ivy sex. So she'd be like, nope. But if no. but if it's dopey and slow, why no. did that end with an f- exclamation point? No. Very, very. He nodded gravely, staring at her shoulders, then broke out into a huge beaming grin. What, is he just like sitting there staring at her shoulders like, oh, shoulder. She's just like, very, 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 very. <laughs> What's dangerous? Feeling has joined the group. I don't know if we can. And I've them. lost interest. They're filming. Uh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no! No! Do I have to say it? Do I have to say it? This is where we skip to the end because because they started talking about a silly hat. Yeah, there's like, oh, I'm gonna take care of you and everything's all right and no one's blessed me. You have to go sleep, and Rose is like leaning against the door, so sexy lean and staring. <laughs> and he's like, where are you going? Oh no! Well, and here's here was with the line she says. Rose leaned against the door and stared at the adorable picture of the half naked doctor. Pouting. Pouting. He pouting. Was, he was pouting. pouting. So he's like a small child. So it's like pedophilia of a 900 and... What was it? Six? 906 year old know. alien, half-naked, pouting. So that's like every type of fetish. And it says, come to bed. I assume this is like the doctor is saying that. It just italicized. There was no way she could resist that. She couldn't even try. No, I'm pretty sure he could. We were asleep and the baby woke us up. Baby? Oh, God. Hmm? We had a baby? We did? Where did we put it? I'm always losing something. Maybe I should go look for it. We don't have a baby. Huh. I'll have to look for it then. You, he thought they had a baby. Two boys and a girl and a dog with no nose, but no cat. What is that spelling of fantasized? Fantasid. Fantis. Fantasicid. Fantasicid. And she's like, oh my god, that's really hot. We should do that. I, I, I thought something completely wrong when I read this part. Dude, that's where my mind went, too. What eventually disturbed her f- disturbed her sleep wasn't the TARDIS's usual morning wake-up call of Tibetan chanting or the lights coming on, but something poking insistently into her hip. Ew! And with that, we leave you.